today we're out here we're going to work on our pig pen today so we're going to actually try to expand this and make it a little bit bigger so far we've just had them in this small area it's about 16 by 32 foot area and uh, somebody suggested that we ought to just go ahead and put them in this uh, brushy area right here between um, the pig pen and the barn and I think that's probably a pretty good idea so this is full of blackberries and it's full of sassafras trees in the back over here uh, there is this fuel tank in here and there might be some junk in there as well it's hard telling on this old farm uh, but that's what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put electric fence um, around their existing shelter here we'll probably remove like this panel right here so they can get out of this shelter and over to the new area when we're done but uh we're going to put electric fence and uh, put it around this brushy area that'll give them some more shade and we'll see how well these pigs can actually clean this brush out um, after we're done we may move the food and water a little bit closer to the barn since that's where the food and water is and then that'll shorten our walk just a little bit more so the first thing we're going to do is we might have to pick up our garden hose and extension cord real quick but we're going to mow the area where our fencing is going to go that way it's all nice and clean and the electric fence won't be grounding out so we're going to go ahead and mow the boundary of our perimeter fence and then we'll start putting in our fence posts We've got our fence line all mowed. We've got all our posts installed. And I think we got all our insulators on. We're ready to go pretty much. We're about ready for wire. Um, so what we're using for posts is we're just using a standard, this is just a standard T post. And we're using those in the corners. This is probably a five or six foot long T post. And um, we're just gonna use that in the corner because the corners will take the most strain. There's not a lot of tension on this wire. This is just regular left electric fence. It's not high tensile, but um, the corner posts will take a little more uh, strain on them, so we're using T-posts on those. And the rest of the posts is we're just using the cheapest post we could find, pretty much. So these are these little 3 8 inch metal rods. This is basically a 3 8 inch piece of rebar um, that they got a little fin met welded to so to keep it from turning. Um, but these are about a dollar a piece. These are about the cheapest little posts you can get. And we've got them spaced anywhere from 6 to 8 feet around the perimeter of this fence. And then we've just got these little insulators on here that they got a little uh, nut on there that you tighten them down. And we'll set the height on these once we get the fence uh, wire installed. Then we'll go through and we'll tweak all these and get them the right height. So we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start unrolling fence. See if we can get our three strands uh, around the perimeter here. And we need to get those tied together so they're all the same electrically. Um, we need to get our fence charger moved to a new location. 
and our ground rod moved. See if we can get that all uh, done and all tied to this fence. And hopefully we'll, uh, when we're done with that, hopefully we'll get it energized and it'll all work. It won't be grounded out. As long as we get it energized and the fence is good, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove a couple of the panels, fence panels over here. And then we'll let the piggies into this new area. So we're going to go ahead and start getting this fence rolled out. See if we can get it finished up. thousand volts. Good. So we just finished up the electric fence. Uh, we've turned it on, we've tested it, everything seems to, to be good. It all tests good. So I think we're ready to let the pigs into their new area. Uh, so this area here is going to more than double the area they had before. And uh, all we're going to do is basically remove some of this uh, cattle panels in between here and then that'll give them access to this new area um, probably not tonight but later we may we'll probably move their feeder and their water we'll probably move that closer to the barn uh, but just tonight we're just going to go ahead and uh, remove some fence panels and let them into the new area and see how well the uh, the pigs and new enjoy all this new brush to be able to go through I was thinking about actually trying to measure these pigs today and see if I could get an estimated weight. Because right there, pork chop right there, I'm going to guess he's getting close. He's got to be getting close to around 100 pounds. Um, <laughs> but he is so covered in mud, there's no way I'm trying to reach around his belly and, and around him and try to make some 
take some body measurements because if you measure from between their ears to the the base of the tail and then around the, the girth of their body behind the armpits you can come up with like an estimated measurement of what their weight is there's no way i'm going to reach in around that fat muddy, muddy pig today you should wrap your arms around him no <laughs> you like the pig so much she always feeds him cookies <laughs> and everything i was gonna if keep any... them still for you yeah so she's gonna try to feed them cookies while i try to take measurements but if anybody will let them touch them it's got to be her because she always pets on them and rubs on them and everything but i think <laughs> look how muddy those things are there's no way i'm taking a measurement tonight so maybe next time when we come back we'll end up trying to get a measurement on these pigs and see how well or how big they're getting they haven't gone very far they're just mostly in this area right now you think they're gonna like it yes although comments not because they took his favorite spot to lay when we're at the barn <laughs> yeah they took comet's favorite place to lay in the shade so he tried to get in there a minute ago and he just got shocked for the first time by the electric fence yeah so um hopefully he learned his lesson pretty quick he kind of walked the perimeter and he didn't try again so yeah <laughs> he's laying over there instead. yeah he's just laying over there instead so but he really did like to lay in the shade of this brushy area when we were over here working in the barn so now he lost his favorite uh shady spot but the pigs are gonna love it now instead so. so i guess we'll come back in like a week or so maybe we'll see if they cleared this out and if it looks any different so um i'm hoping that they actually kind of cleared out for me myself yeah it wouldn't be my it wouldn't be bad to just go ahead and, and cut this all down i was thinking about doing that myself anyway so hopefully if the pigs can do it for me and who knows what they'll find in there yeah that's true i think there's some there might who knows what's in there you never know what you find around here they have found blocks of wood and and uh, concrete blocks and and everything Tools. in this and yeah was there like a channel locks or something yeah, like that really in there old rusty one so it's hard telling what they'll dig up in this area but i'm sure there is some old farm junk in there somewhere so <laughs> but anyway we'll check back on this later and uh we'll see how well these pigs uh root this area up so anyway i think we're gonna go cool down get us some supper and uh that's it for this video then so we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching